Good morning, children. Welcome to another math class. So I hope you remember you remembered what we learned yesterday. We learned how to convert time, right? And today we are going to continue from where we left. Okay. So what am I holding here again? I'm again holding a clock, right? And what is the time showing? It is uh, the time is somewhere near. The time in the clock, what is the time in the clock? The hour hand is near 6 but it is also 5, alright? It is between 5 and 6 and the minute's hand is in near 6. So the time is 5.30, okay? What does it mean? It can also be written as 5 hours and 30 minutes right children that is also how it can be written okay now if I want to know that 5 hours and 30 minutes okay how much is it total in minutes then what will I do I have to convert 5 hours into minutes all right so let me write so this will become 5 so to convert hours into minutes what do we have to do Remember, 1 hour equals 60 minutes, right? So, this will become 5 into 60 minutes. So, 5 hours and 30 minutes can be written as 5 into 60 minutes plus this 30 will remain as it is. Okay, so this will become 30 minutes. All right. Now we all know the multiplication table, right? So 5 into 6 is 30. So 5 into 60 will be 300. So this will be 300 minutes plus 30 minutes. Alright. So 5 hours and 30 minutes can be written as 300 minutes plus 30 minutes. So this can be written as 300 plus 30. How will you uh, how will you add it up? This will become 300. We will write 30 just after 300. This will become 30. So 300 plus 30 is 330. Okay. So this will be. So this will be 330 minutes. So 5 hours plus 30 minutes. Can also be written as 330 minutes. So children, yesterday we had learned how to convert days into hours, hours into minutes, right? So we basically converted a larger unit into a smaller unit, okay? Larger unit means hour is larger than minutes, right? So to convert larger unit to a smaller unit, what do we do? We multiply, okay? So today, we will start by converting seconds into minutes and seconds into hours, okay? So yesterday what we did, we learned how to convert days into hours and hours into minutes, okay? We converted larger unit to a smaller unit. And when we convert large units like hour, hour is larger than minute, right? So to convert hour into minutes, we multiply. What will we do to convert a minute into a second? Minute is larger than second, isn't it? So to convert minute into second, we will again multiply. Now today, okay, let me rub this off. So today, we will learn how to convert second to minutes. Okay, first we will learn how to convert seconds into minutes. So suppose we all say, right, when we want to, we, when, uh, when we want, when, when I want to say that please do something quickly, we always, what do we say? We say, ma'am, two minutes, give me two minutes and or two seconds, all right? So second, 
See, second is a smaller unit of time. Why? Because one minute, when you say one minute, it means a longer period of time. And when you say one second, it is over in a second. Okay, it's over just, just like that. So, you all remember, right? One minute was equal to how many seconds, students? One minute was equal to 60 seconds. All right. Is it clear? Switch implies one second. Remember, second is a smaller unit of minute. So one second will be less than less than minute. So this will be equal to 1 by 60 minute. Okay. All right. So suppose you have to convert. Suppose you have to convert 120 seconds to minutes. So what do you have here children? You have to convert 120 seconds into minutes. You have at hand 120 seconds. Now seconds is a smaller unit of minute. Okay. Seconds are is a smaller unit of minute. So what will you do? You will divide 120 seconds by 60. Okay. Did you understand why? Because second is a smaller unit of minute. Okay. Smaller unit of time. So, to convert 120 seconds into minutes, what do we do? Answer, 120 seconds, right? So, 120 seconds can be written as for minutes. What will you do? You will write it as 120 into 1 by 60 minutes. Alright, children. Now, 120 can be written as what is 12? 12 is 6 into 2 gives you 12, right? So 120 can be written as 60 into 2 into 1 by 60 minutes, right children? And this 60, 60 can be cancelled out. You are left with 2 minutes. Okay. So can you convert seconds into minutes now? What did we have here? At first we had 120 seconds and we had to convert 120 seconds to minutes. So what did we do? Because we had a smaller unit of time, we have we divided 120 seconds by 60. Okay. So always remember, if you have to convert minutes to seconds, what do you do? You multiply. And if you have to convert the opposite, if you have to convert seconds to minutes, children, what will you do? You will divide okay now this was seconds to minutes all right children so can i rub this off okay now let us convert seconds Okay, we converted seconds to minutes and now we will convert seconds to hours. Okay, so let us again say that one second is equal to, second is a smaller unit of time. So one second will be equal to 1 by 60 minutes, right? Right children? And one minute is equal to again 1 by 60 hours. Okay. Now see, first we, we are going in the decreasing order. First we have taken one second. One second was equal to 1 by 60 minute. Why? Because one minute was equal to 60 seconds. Okay. Again, one minute is equal to 1 by 60 hours. Why? Because one hour was equal to 60 minutes. Is it clear? Now, to convert seconds into, into hours, what will you get? One second 
is equal to 1 by 60 minutes. Now here converting this minutes into hours. So this will become 1 by 60 hours. Why? Because 1 minute is equal to 1 by 60 hours. So this will be, so 1 second will be equal to 1 by 60 into 1 by 60 hours. Okay. So 6 into 6 is, 6 multiplied by 6 is 36. So 1 second will be equal to 3600 zero zero hours. 1 second is equal to 1 by 3600 zero zero hours. So children, today what have we learned? We have learned how to convert a smaller unit of time to a larger unit of time. Now second is smaller than a minute, right? When you say one second, it, it is over in a jiffy, okay? And when you say one minute, you have to wait for 60 seconds, okay? You have to count one, two, three, and then you have to go till 60, okay? So you have to count 60 seconds. And one hour, for one hour, how many seconds do you have to count? You have to count 60 into 60, that is 3600 zero zero seconds. All right, children? Is it clear? I hope it is clear to you. All right. So let us do a few problems. Okay. Now suppose. Okay, suppose, let us take an example. Suppose you went to school five minutes late. Suppose you went to school five minutes late, okay? You were somehow late for the school that day. And your friend was late. And was your friend was late by 300 seconds, okay? So can you tell me, children, who was more late? You were late or your friend was late? How do you find out? So see, you were late by 5 minutes. Your friend was late by 300 seconds. So for your answer, what you have to do, you have to convert one you see, there are two different units of time here, right? So what you have to do, you have to convert them into one single unit. You either convert minute into second or second into minutes, all right? So let us, let us do one thing. Let us convert your time into seconds and then we will see who was more late, okay? All right. Okay, it is given... Your time equals 5. Okay, your time is 5 minutes. And 5 minutes can be converted into seconds. How? 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So 5 minutes will be 5 into 60 seconds. Alright children, did you get why I multiplied it by 60? 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. We all know that. So 5 minutes will be equal to 5 into 60 seconds. So they, as such you will get 5 into 3, 6 is 30. So 300 seconds. So you see, you were 300 seconds late. So that means you and your friend were late for the same time. Okay. You were equally late. Did you get my point? Okay, so you can say that you and your friend were equally late. Students, I hope you understood and enjoyed today's class. If you have any problems and any queries, please let me know and, I, and I'll get back to you. I'll see you in the next class, okay?